Hey, this is Lance and Carl from Childlike Empress, and you're watching Local Band Smokeout. Well, see you, yep. Excellent, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Chuck and the Bell! Hell yeah! Yo, 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 cheers, cheers, cheers. Hell yeah. Fellas, how are we doing today? How is life? Yeah, doing good, doing good. Excellent, excellent. Thank you guys for being here. If you could kindly introduce yourself, let me know where in the world you are at the moment. Plug and promote anything and everything. I'm um, R.I.P. George from Hey Chuck. Uh, currently, I'm in South Carolina, originally from Connecticut. Um, I also do my own solo project on the side, as does Cryptosis. Uh, Cryptosis? Yeah, uh, I'm Cryptosis from Hey Chuck. Uh, I'm in Michigan. And, uh, yeah. So you guys do all the music just online, living yeah. apart. How, how, does that, how does that work out? Basically, we do everything through Discord. Um, we'll be in a call together to write the songs. Uh, we'll, depending on if, uh, if one of us has made the instrumental or like the next thing we're putting out is something that we both worked on the instrumental. So with that one, we kind of pass the instrumental back and forth and then put our vocals over it, you know, working together with the writing and everything, still passing files back and forth until, you know, mixing, mastering and everything. Oh yeah, very cool. My uh, my co-host today is Luke, by the way, uh, Luke of Local Band Smoke in Australia. Luke, the fellas, what, going, would you, guys? what would you like to ask the band? So yeah, working remotely, um, how has that been challenging for you in like compared to writing in a tr more traditional sense? Honestly, I haven't really, I've been in a, a good amount of bands that getting in the room together and writing was probably even more difficult than, really? okay, you, you write something at your house and then bring it when you're, when you're good. <laughs> uh, but a lot of, a lot of those band experiences were during the teenage years and none of those generally ever go very well anyway. So, <laughs> but in this case, it's, it's worked really well with, you know, Pat, like I said, with the passing files back and forth, it, it generally has worked very well. There has been a few times where, like Chuck will say, I, I sent you a file and I'll be like, no, you fucking didn't. You didn't send me shit. <laughs> and then I'll go look and I'll be like, you sent me some shit. I might have not seen it. <laughs> Is that how the band but, name, came, you guys came up with the band name? You were just like, hey, Chuck, check this out or something like that. And you were like, oh, man, that's it. That's that's the ring. That's the that's what we're looking for. Is that how the band name came about? Uh, basically uh originally it was fuck chuck um <laughs> and we decided that was probably a little too a little too much you know if we have to censor the band name itself so we ended up going with hey chuck because actually we say hey chuck a lot more than we say fuck chuck surprisingly <laughs> surprisingly, <laughs> surprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> for sure and i see you got a, a bong in the background there chuck uh, do you do you uh have a name for her? Oh, I that's just my go-to. Honestly, I got this. I got a little teacup. Oh, nice. Oh, I got the little, the even smaller. Little <laughs> something, something for every occasion. I got mine over yeah. here as well. Oh, yeah. like hold yours up to the camera so I can see yours too, George, if possible. Nice. It's got, it's got nice. a uh, maybe recognizable sticker on the back there. The merch. Oh yeah, my merch guy. MyMerchGuy.com. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. It sponsors everybody. I love them. Then they support so many bands. Super cool dudes for real. MyMerchGuy.com. Yeah. Um, shout out local band Smokeout for the stickers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Do, 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 do. Yeah. No problem, dude. Uh, Speaking what... of, I'm gonna I'm gonna run and grab some smoke quick. Okay. Yeah, cool. In two seconds. Uh, Chuck, did you did you guys happen to bring hot sauce? Were you prepped on the hot sauce portion of the show? Uh, I can get hot sauce pretty quickly. Okay, before you do, uh, we'd like to do like a trivia segment where I ask, uh, what movie or TV show have you seen the most? Uh, we'll jam your guys' music here in a second, but I need I need some time to look up the trivia in the background. What movie or TV show have you seen the most, sir? 
So if I ask you trivia on it, there's no way I could stump you. There's no way. Me personally, or both of us? Well, I guess both, because we'll give you we'll give you and George a chance to to answer the question. But um, okay. maybe you can think of something that would uh, he would agree with. And I'll tell you what, while we wait for him to come back, why don't we go? This town is like a desert, which has a little bit of a different feel than than the other tracks. How? I know you guys said you do everything online back and forth, but is there is there a reason that you went a little bit of a different direction on this one? Um, I don't know. We're 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 kind of like we don't like to be like set in one one genre, you know. Like we we like the punk style. That's what we kind of go for. But uh, we just wanted to switch it up a little bit. I dig it. Have That's cool. Feel to it. That's cool. Let's check it out. This we're hanging out with Hey Chuck. This one's called This Town is Like a Desert Winners. Of the Tournament of Champions 5. Cheers. Let's rip it, boys, so we can say we all smoke together. Let's rip it. Yes, yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta pack it. Oh, you're right. I can't put them on the pole because they won. <laughs> Let's have it. I think personally, this could be my favorite jam and your guys' best work. I really love this song. Thank you. Appreciate that. Shout out to Trip on this face. It's super catchy, though. So, George, while you were gone, I was asking, I was asking Chuck if, uh, if, if we had a trivia question that I could ask, but I need to know what movie or TV show you've seen the most. If you guys could agree oh, on yeah. one or the other, a movie or a TV show. We talked about this prior and there's nothing else that we would go with besides The Office. The Office, okay. It's, it's a common nice. uh, selection around here and we are able to stump on The Office fairly often. So uh, Luke, go ahead and shoot a question off and let me look up some uh, some Office trivia. This is the American version of the Office, correct? Not the UK version. Yes, not the yeah, UK yeah, yeah. version. I've okay. never, I've tried. Okay, got you. So, um, with this new track, there's obviously like a, a mid two thousands pop punk kind of a feel. Like um, that uh, was clearly like sort of the inspiration. What really uh, drove you to uh, decide to write music like that? I mean, that's kind of what we both like, kind of heavily grew up on. That's something that I hold very close to me is like the early 2000s what what we call nostalgia core yeah um, nostalgia. now at least you know pop punk yeah. stuff like that um 2005 or die 2005 <laughs> or die have you guys ever thought about having like a like a huge guest feature and if so who who would you consider that would be something that I mean, I personally would love to do, um, and really, uh, there's a few different people, and I know, I know Chuck knows exactly who I, who I would want. So go go ahead, you you say who you would like first, or should I say who you would like first? <laughs> no, um, <laughs> no, for me, honestly, um, like I. I Disturbed is like one of my favorite bands of all time, and David Draymond is insane. So that would probably be it for me. David Draymond, I wasn't expecting that. No, it's a uh, that's cool. It's it's different. It would give it a, a shake up to the track too. In the event that like somebody like that did jump on, would you would you? like cater let's say david said yes i am down to do it would you then like write a section directly for him or would you just say just leave a gap on a verse on 
something that you already had, like just a pre plan oh, I, mean, I think I think we would definitely tailor it to him. Um, the track in general. We do have some other uh, more on the metal core side of things tracks that we have that are unreleased um, that we've been working on for a little bit. And something like that might be something more along that direction. But I'm not 100% on, you know, how how that specifically would work with, like, those tracks. So I think we would do something specifically tailored to him. Hell, yeah. Thank you, Nico, for the raid. Uh, George, you're actually frozen on our That's end. what I was going to say. Did yeah. my phone just die? You're fr okay. We can still hear you, but you're frozen on our end. Uh, but that's okay. As long as we can hear you, you might be able to answer the trivia while you figure out the camera. This is the trivia. <laughs> Regarding The Office, we're going to start with an easy one to see if you really have seen it as many times as you said. What is the brand and make of car Michael Scott drives? Chrysler Sebring. That is correct. All right. We got to ramp it up, Luke. I got to ramp it up on the second one. The uh, question is, can I change to my... Try just try just like turning it off and turning it on. That should do it. Uh, yeah, I'm just I have to actually switch which camera I'm using. Uh, oh yeah, you should be able to swap died. and swap back. Yeah, the other one's just not showing up. Oh well, it's okay. As long as we can hear Plug you, it. we're good. Plug uh, it back in. Cheers, boys. I gotta do a I gotta do a beer chug real quick. Oh. Uh, Cheers. Is Cheers. there is there a, a a timeline of when we can expect the next song? And what do you guys have planned out you're allowed to tell us for the rest of 2023? Um, uh, so as far as the next track, um, I think we're kind of torn between that one that we were producing together and um, a cover that everyone in the chat, including you guys uh, in the actual call, have definitely... Everyone has heard this song, hundred percent. If you haven't, I don't know. Don't know why you're even here. Yeah, you're living under a rock. Yeah, you're living under. A, I don't know how you're on Twitch if you haven't heard this song. <laughs> For sure. But uh, so we're thinking it's between those two, um, and relatively soon. The, uh, yeah, it's going to be very soon. We were planning on we were planning on early this month. Um, I personally have a track releasing in four days. And we were kind of going to try to schedule it around then. Uh, but uh, Chuck went on vacation for a little bit. And uh, while he was on vacation, he obviously, you know, we can't really do too much without without him. So it makes sense. I forgot I was supposed to do the hot sauce because I was not able to stump you. So I'm, right now I'm going to go with some mule sauce. It says uh, level three of five. It's really not that hot. It's like a level one of five, just to be honest with you. But this also leads me to my next trivia question, which is significantly harder. In the office, where is the first place Michael and Jan kiss? Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. I know this one. I, I would... It's the Bahamas, right? <laughs> It is not. You get one more shot at it. I thought it was. I thought it was in the parking lot. Parking lot of what? Oh. Of, of of Dunder Mifflin? No, Chili's. Mother. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we suck again. Nice. That is correct. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Damn it. I'll be honest. I'll be honest. <laughs> until you said. Until you said, parking lot of where I was like, oh shit. <laughs> and, then, and then I was like, right, shit, chilies. Damn it. Oh, is it going to be a pickle bite? No. Oh, wasabi. So I have here some hot wasabi paste, wasabi peas, and wasabi powder. All three. <laughs> oh, my. And I'm going to combine all three. And somehow we're gonna get through and finish this this interview. So Luke, oh, while man. I while I suffer real quick, shoot off one more question for me. So of those like nostalgia core bands, who are like the top tier for you? Like the top inspirations for Hey Chuck? 
Sum 41 is my yeah. like number one inspiration um, instrumentally. Uh, I always like, I don't know the front, the front singer is fucking the main singer's name, but he had the blonde spiky hair. I know what you're talking about. And yeah, when I was younger, I spiked my hair up every single day when I, <laughs> I, I couldn't, couldn't get over it. Just for him? Oh yeah. Did you hear that they sold their whole catalog recently? I heard that they st- that they were like wrapping everything up, but I did They're not hear about that. How much heard. money do you think that they got? So keep in mind, um, at one point, what was it? Justin Bieber did the same thing and got two hundred million. How much do you That's... think Sum Forty One got for their whole catalog? I was gonna say one hundred and fifty million until I heard that Justin Bieber got two hundred million. Yeah, it's significantly less than Justin Bieber. Significantly less. I mean, it's still a good amount. It's more than it's actually more than I thought they were going to get. I'd I'd guess maybe like fifteen million. That's what I was gonna say. Fifteen to twenty, maybe then. Fifty million dollars. Some forty-one Whoa! got for their that every for everything for them. to good sign over them. the royalty rights, masters, all of that. This is insane. Absolutely insane. Man, the wasabi. As soon as it goes straight up your nose, you just forget about everything. <laughs> Do you guys have a, uh, let's say, let's say some, all of a sudden label comes along and it's the best deal ever. It's, it's worth signing and you get to keep all your masters, blah, blah, blah. And they want to give you millions of dollars advance. Now you can't spend your money. I like to ask this question to almost every guest. You can't spend your money on, on your family, on more studio gear or a house. What would you spend it on? Is there a toy that you've always wanted and it's something expensive that now you have so many, so much money you could afford? God, there's so many things. <laughs> he says there's so many things. I, I don't know. I can't really think of one besides my friends and my family that's worth that. You know. Yeah. Got to take care of them. I seen You ever seen Richie Rich, the movie Richie Rich? Mm-hmm. There's a scene where Richie Rich, like, he gets, like, a, like, a from the top floor, like, a slide with water that goes, but he can leave from the top floor of his house. I always wanted that where I could just be like in my house and, and jump in a slide that goes like instantly to the pool outside. There we go. So that, that's that got to be like a hundred grand to build something like that. I would think. That's maybe, maybe not that much, but like 50 grand. Welcome back, Chuck. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. hey Chuck. Ryan. Hey, George. <laughs> Hell yeah, we got it. We got it rocking. There we go. Cheers. Are you Cheers. guys, are you guys gamers at all? Yeah. What's, yeah, what's, yeah, uh, yeah. Rattle off like top two or three favorite video games. Ark, Legend of Zelda. Oh, Ark. he went back. Okay, you went back. Ark Survival. Okay, that was, yeah. That was... Hell Ark. yeah, bro! I just got the new time. Zelda custom Switch. <laughs> oh, good shit! I wish oh, I, I wish sad. I had any Nintendo anything besides an emulator anymore. <laughs> I have not played the new Zelda game, but I read online today that they just found like a major Easter egg where there's like this cliff or something you can dive into another realm and there's like a whole dark realm world that mirrors the light world you remember how like in the old ones that they have like the dark world version on super nintendo yeah the new zelda has like a hidden something that becomes the dark world or something like that that's that's fucking but like no one had found that yet until and it's like a whole another part of the game it's crazy uh, it's been out for like two weeks and people are still finding stuff. I love that. Um, fellas, what, who made you even want to pick up a microphone when you were young? Just, just be musicians in general. Like what artists really inspired you so much that you decided I want to make music? Uh, for me, it was all the people around me. Uh, my stepfather played the guitar and had like a band that he jammed with in the basement all the time. And my uncle was in a band that ended up touring with Seven Dust and Ten Years and uh, a few other, like Nonpoint, a few other big bands. You name drop them? Yeah. And he, uh, Novus Day was their band name. And they uh, basically they ended up breaking up, long story short. But he was the vocalist for the band. And originally I played drums, um, was in... A lot of different bands playing drums, guitar, and then I started singing. Um, 
maybe, I mean, I always sang, but I really started focusing on vocals as the main point, maybe five years ago at this point. Um, and since then, that's been my main focus, along with like creating instrumentals and, and as a whole. But my uncle and my stepfather were really my initial push. Like they, they just were creating music around me my whole life. And then yourself. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's like I said, Disturbed was a big one. Um, Corn, Slipknot. Uh, it's interesting that you kind of have like a you're somewhat of a, a hard rock, new metal influence. But then that's not really the style of music you play, which I find that interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't. I don't know. Cause like to be honest, like I didn't really start vocally doing this until I met Chuck. So it was like he's the one that pushed me to, to you know, get it out there. Exactly. Yeah. No, I get it. And, I totally uh, get it. Hell yeah. And so, yeah, like, we, a lot of my inspiration came from him as well. So. Yeah, when we initially met, um, I was making emo rap. And Chuck was also, like, not... He wasn't doing anything, actually, but his, his buddy was rapping. And uh, I started del delving into learning how to mix and master on a professional level. Um, I started going to college for it. And then said, "I'm learning way more on my own than I am in this in this program. So I'm gonna keep continue on my own. Learned way more and started mixing on my own, doing stuff for myself. Um, and then Chuck was like, "I'm gonna get into this too because everybody's around me making music. <laughs> kind of the same mm -hmm. that same it was because we all we all were hanging out um, in Discord as friends long before we ever made music together." Long before, what was Chuck the what music. was the Discord chat where you guys met? Like, what what kind of Discord was it? It's the Chuck Zone. It's called the Chuck Zone now, but it used to be called the Chill Zone. Yeah. Okay, I dig it. The Chuck Zone. I like that. Hell yeah, <laughs> gentlemen. We got time for maybe two or three more questions. Luke, what would be a question that you have also? Ooh, um, so you said you're working on some more metalcore kind of stuff. So you, you don't like to be boxed in. What kind of a genre would you define yourself as? Or what kind of genre are you, like, hoping to create? Nostalgicore. Yeah, absolutely. Nostalgicore. Um, yeah. It's a term that we coined together. It's something that it's really it really encompasses a lot of different things. It could be metalcore. It could be... Pop, pop punk it could be eventually things from 70s and 80s things that make you feel very nostalgic of a certain time and right now we're we're aiming at 2005 and 2005 had a lot of pop, pop punk and it had a lot of nostalgia core i love it that is Metal super core. cool sorry <laughs> that is super yeah. cool nostalgia core. hell yeah so all all those feel good vibes from like classic warp tour days 2005 exactly. did you guys attend warp tour back then Oh yeah, I I didn't attend Warp Tour myself, but I've just been through a lot of different concerts. It's not Warp Tour. Gotcha. I miss Warp Tour so much. I've been to a few Warp Tours. Yeah, good vibes, man. Good times. Uh, my final question for you guys would be: do, Is there any band advice? Maybe there was a, a mistake you made earlier on in your career as a solo artist or as Hey Chuck, but just what advice would you give a band that you don't want them to make this mistake? Honestly, I would just say really take your time, uh, work on what you're going to work on and until it really sounds good to you, put out like what sounds good to you when, when you, when it really sounds good and vibes to you, like that's when you know, you're, excuse me, you know, you're but, like ready to do it. But not only that, when you put it out, push it as hard as you can, like your life depends on it. Don't, don't, a lot of, a don't, lot of don't just release it, it and say, oh, it's it's okay. Really put it out there because, you know. Is there any interesting tips or tricks that you guys have uh, as far as when you promo stuff, like beyond just like a Facebook post and, or a Twitter post? Like what in addition do you do? Do you, um, do you go the Reddit route? Do you, What else are you doing? 
I mean, We've been trying to get into TikTok lately with doing the TikTok videos and stuff. Um, yeah. One thing specifically I'm trying to do is get, uh, we did a few recording videos like while, while Chuck was here in South Carolina and we have some clips that we, we can edit together uh, for TikTok videos, basically like performing videos and things like that, like we've seen do really good uh, for emerging artists and stuff like that. So, so stuff like that is stuff we're trying to get into with really pushing TikTok and to gain a TikTok following because it's a huge, huge market that currently for us is untapped, at least. I still don't understand how TikTok works, but I'm trying also, man. I'm, I'm trying. You're right? telling me. <laughs> <laughs> I try to rotate the hashtags, do different little things I've never done. But, uh, gentlemen, this is a lot of fun, man. I appreciate you guys. Congratulations on on winning the tournament. And we will see you again in that. But we Cheers. need time to get to 16 with the uh, the seventh one happening later this month. We did our, our sixth one yesterday. So it won't be too, too long. But uh, at that time, you'll join a bunch of other bands that have won previous tournaments in the past, and uh, you will we'll, we'll throw you to the gauntlet again. And if you win that one, the prizes I promise you are way way better and bigger. And uh, but in the meantime, man, we look forward to the two singles coming out. One being a cover, one being the produced song that you guys were talking about. That's still work in progress, but we're so excited about it. In the meantime, <coughs> this town is like a desert. It's fire, gentlemen. Well done on that. And uh, we'll continue to support any way you can. But we really appreciate your time being here. Hell yeah. Appreciate you guys appreciate having, you us having us. Yeah. Absolutely. My pleasure. Uh, from uh, Local Band Smuggling, we're signing you out. And this is Hey Chuck. Gentlemen, we appreciate you. Have a great day. Give me a hell Peace. yeah. Peace. Peace. Welcome to the local band, Smokeout.